Hello to the few people who will end up watching this video. Anyway, it's about 1 in the morning here. Uh, I've been working on this Ampex 600 all night. And I finally got everything working about the way it's supposed to. I'll turn it on here. Hear the motor start up. Play. Rewind. And fast forward. As you can hear, it's not the quietest. There's a little bit of rattle in these rollers at the back. If I could take this camera off the tripod. a better view of everything. So the main thing that I was having problems with here is this piece down in here. Uh, that is the clutch, playback clutch. Now what should happen here is this black plastic piece comes in contact with this belt. Um, this rubber belt contacts this black piece and this should slip slip on this felt on this metal uh, ring here so what happens when you put it in play is this black should be spinning at the speed of the belt and this uh, assembly here with the felt on it should be slipping on the black piece and only being allowed to spin as fast as the tape allows it to as the tape goes through the pinch roller. So what often occurs is the rubber will slip instead of the felt and the belt will wear down, the plastic will wear down and obviously it'll work that way but parts won't last as long as they should. Uh, the rattle that you hear in fast forward is just this piece wiggling. Uh, it's got some shake to it. Uh, the spring could probably bear down on it a little more. And then reverse uh, the slipping on this is just loud. But obviously with these mechanical assemblies you can't expect everything to be very quiet. Uh, the ones with the uh, three motors obviously later they came along and obviously Ampex at the time that they made this 600 tape deck they did have three motor recorders but this was designed to be a portable so obviously they simplified it uh, using one motor and decreased weight uh, and just made it a little easier for it to be a portable uh, not necessarily works as well as the three motor types but uh, it does what's expected of it. That's about it for now. Um, th this unit, actually, I might as well say this while I got the video going. Uh, this unit uh, is pieces from two. So down there on the floor is everything else, and then on the shelf is a preamplifier. And now I have another preamplifier from a 601 coming in, uh, which I'll do a video on later.